What's good, y'all? GVO Juju here. Make sure y'all like. Make sure y'all subscribe, comment, share it. Do all that extra shit. Follow my socials in the description. Do all that third dimensional bullshit for me, all right? Let this channel grow so it can reach the people it needs to. The reason I did that deep breathing in the beginning of my videos was just so I could calm my mind and raise my vibration so that the energy I'm bringing to you all is just clear, concise, and from a divine source that is being channeled through me. And I actually suggest that in the beginning of my videos that you do the same as well. Because when you breathe in deep, you calm your body and you calm your mind. So you become more receptive to what's around you. So the information that I'm giving you all could get in deeper and it can manifest into something beautiful in your life. Just Anyways, <laughs> today, what I wanna be talking about to you all is vibration. What vibration is and how it affects us and why it's so important. Vibration, when it comes to happiness, when it comes to what you manifest into this physical reality and especially spirituality, if that's what you wanna get into. Vibration is the number one ruler of all that. <laughs> Your vibration determines the level of positivity in all those categories. Everything around you, no matter what the time and no matter what it is, is vibrating at an atomical level. In science class, that's what they taught you. They taught you that at an atomical level, everything is vibrating. That's where the phrase, the world is an illusion, that's where it comes from. Because as humans, we can only see the solid form of all these objects. But where in reality, everything is just vibrating energy. That's all it is, everything is vibrating on you. This book I'm holding is vibrating in my hand. This neck, this bracelet I'm wearing, vibrating in my, everything is vibrating. As humans, we are affected our vibration is affected by a various amount of things in our environment rather than just it's being stable all the time. Just break down the word human. Hue, man. Hue means color. And color is just a part of the light spectrum. So the word human just means light man. We are light beings. So we reflect and things are reflected off of us. And the things that will reflect off of us are determined by our thoughts, our emotions, which is just energy in motion, and our diet. Not, I'm not talking about diet as in your food every day. Yes, that is important, but that's not only what I'm talking about. I'm talking about through every single one of your senses, to what you feed your eyes every day. If you're watching television, which just tells lies to your vision, if you're watching television, if you're looking at social media, media resorts from the Greek goddess Medea, which is a god of deception. So if you're just looking at all that bullshit on a daily basis, and then you're listening to stupid music at 440 hertz, which completely lowers your vibration, fucks up, makes people sick, gives headaches, all that extra shit, and it's talking about robbing people, talking about killing people, and then you're eating some dead food, and that energy from the dead food is getting transferred to you and lowering your vibration even further. That's all your external reality is gonna mirror because that's all you're allowing it to. Here's one thing about the universe, right? This is a law. As within, so without, as above, so below. And what this means is the internal world that you build, your thoughts, your emotions, and the feelings you feel about yourself and others those build everything that's around you literally because all is mental everything in this world is mental i say that to say this if you're not being conscious on a daily basis of what you're intaking what you're feeding your diet what you're feeding your mind you're gonna start unconsciously whether you know it or not that's the vibration you're going to be at. And that's the type of things that are going to start attracting to you in this physical reality. Because everything starts in here first. That's why fucking NBA young boy is always getting arrested. He's giving out that energy and he's just getting it back. 
That's why Meg the Stallion got shot in her fucking foot. Because she telling all these bitches to be thoughts and shit. And then that's the vibration she matching at. <laughs> that's all it is. So let me tell you about the importance of your vibration on a physical level, on a spiritual level, on a, me on a mental level. Your vibration rules everything in this reality. If you're on a higher vibration, let me say, let me, let me elaborate, yeah. Let's say you're on a higher vibration, right? So what I mean by high vibration is you're taking care of yourself. You're getting knowledge every day. You're getting in the sunlight. You're eating well. You're feeding your diet things that are helpful rather than harmful. If you're on a high vibration, those things are going to start mapping out into your physical reality. Because all the external reality is, is a mirror of your internal world, like I just said. But let's say, so there are basically everybody in this world right now. They're stuck at a low vibration. That's why all these bullshit events is happening. That's why all this fucking COVID shit, all this other bullshit is happening in this life. All these wars, all this Black Lives Matter shit, which is fucking stupid. All that Black Lives Matter shit. That our worldly vibration is so low right now. Cause of what we feed ourselves. We kill 71 billion animals a year. 71 billion animals a year. I don't know if you know it or not. So I'm here to tell you. We're all one being. We're all one consciousness. If you're eating an animal. You're eating a part of yourself that wanted to live. <laughs> You're killing a part of yourself that wanted to live. So that's fucked. That's lowering your vibration like shit if you don't know it or not. So I'm here to tell you right now some methods I use personally to raise my vibration out of that hole. Because I was there with y'all. I can never blame anybody for being where they at. But I can blame you if you want, if you consciously stay there out of fear, out of whatever indoctrinations you were told when you were young. I blame you for staying in that vibration consciously. But other than that, let's get off of that. I want to tell you all how to raise your vibration. So everything in your physical reality, everything in your internal reality can start to be more positive, filled with love rather than hate and fear. The first thing I did to really raise my vibration to that next level and started manifesting a positive life, manifesting love, all this beautiful shit that I've gotten in these past few years or year is switching my diet. Going from eating McDonald's, Wendy's, all that fake nasty bullshit with all them preservatives and chemicals in it. Switching from that, dropping that shit completely one day and just going plant based. That's probably going to be the hardest one for most people to do. Just because of how long we've been indoctrinated into thinking eating animals is right. But I'm going to tell you this right now. I won't get into all the spiritual aspects of eating meat. I'll talk on a bio biological level. Energy is never transferred. Energy is never destroyed, I mean. It's only transferred. So when you're eating some shit that was killed, it was watching its whole family get slaughtered, that energy that that animal was possessing in its final moments were fear, were anguish, distraught, all these low vibrational, horrible feelings. And then when your dumb ass, I won't say dumb, my fault, <laughs> my fault, my fault, my fault. When your ass decide to eat that shit, that energy is only being transferred to you. That leads to depression. That leads to these random thoughts of fear and depression and all this bullshit. That's where those thoughts stem from. So when you go to, when you stop eating all that dead shit and you go to eating something that's alive, like a plant, rather than being on that low vibration, because you always have to use your own energy to digest that dead food, because you're trying to get live energy to live from something that's dead. So you have to use your own energy to make that food satiable within your body so you can live on a daily basis. 
which causes aging and all that extra shit, but I won't get into that. When you're doing that, and then you switch up to something, eating something that's alive, your vibration is naturally gonna get higher. Because plants hold live enzymes in them. And those live enzymes are transferred to us, rather than us having to give our live enzymes to something that's dead. You feel me? So when you switch from eating all that dead shit to eating something that's alive like a plant, like a fruit, like something else that's alive, naturally, you're gonna start having more energy. You're gonna not be so tired anymore. Your thoughts are gonna be different because food is information. Food is information. The food you take into your body determines the thoughts you have. So if you're eating something that's on a love frequency like a plant, on a high vibration like a plant because it's alive, it gives, on a biological level, it gives your, their life enzymes to you. So you're gonna start feeling more alive naturally. You feel me? So that's one thing. Next thing I started doing a lot was meditation. Meditation is... <laughs> meditation is the most beautiful shit on this earth, I promise you. When you're meditating, all you're doing is just completely submersing yourself in the present moment. You're not in your, you're not in your head thinking about what you're going to do tomorrow. Because every single second of the day, we're thinking about something. So when you quiet your mind and you just allow energies to flow into you, you just completely submerse yourself here. Naturally, you're going to raise your dopamine. That's when med meditation raises your dopamine, which naturally is going to make you happier. It's going to start. And what's the number one thing about meditation? The... The breathing in and breathing out. And let me, I'm going to put you on something right now. Oxygen is energy. Oxygen holds energy. It's literally your life force. Without oxygen, you wouldn't be alive. So when you're, take, when you're taking conscious effort to inhale that life energy and let it circulate through you. And you exhale that negative energy, which is carbon dioxide your vibration is naturally going to start getting higher and higher and higher and higher. It's probably the best. If you can't cut out meat, that's the one thing you could do right now. Practice meditation. My phone died, so I didn't even get to finish my video. But anyways, the thing about meditation is, right, when you meditate, those you're going to start to realize how insignificant <laughs> You're gonna start to realize how stupid some of the past things that you've been holding on to, that have been subconsciously holding you back, you're gonna start to realize how stupid most of them shits are. How, how, how stupid most of them beliefs that you had of yourself or of something else was. Because when you meditate and you're deep in meditation, naturally old thoughts are just gonna start popping back up, right? And then you're gonna be able to deal with them. But you're going to start to realize how stupid some of the shit you've been holding on to. This happened to me personally. You're going to start to realize how stupid that shit is. And how much you don't even care about it. And you're going to be able to let go of that past. Which is naturally good. Which is going to make you more happier. You're going to be more present. Because the present is really all there is. Our minds are constantly time traveling in the future and backwards. But all there is is the present. Right? And this last tip goes especially out to my melanated brothers and sisters. It, it, it works for other races, but I'm talking especially to you all right now. I thought my dad was coming in again. Gang stalking shit, whatever. <laughs> but anyways, this, this tip especially for my melanated people. See that right there? That sun? That shit's your best friend. I pr it's your best friend. The sun is the source of all life on this earth. Without the sun, nothing lives. Sun is what births the plants, the oxygen, us. We, everything on this earth needs the sun. And what they've told you as a kid, this, go, this especially goes out to my melanated people, this tip right here. What they've told you as a kid is that it causes skin cancer. I'm really here to tell you right now, bro. I'm here to tell you right now. I've been in 
the sun for a year. Ain't nothing happen. The reason they told you that is because they know the powers the sun gives. The sun decalcifies your pineal gland, which is your third eye, which connects you to the energetic and spiritual realm. But I'll get into that later. The sun radiates off straight positive energy. Sun gaze makes you energetic. It makes you happier. It raises your vibration because all vibration is is heat. Heat is vib the higher you're vibrating. The, the higher the temperature is. So when you're in the sun, your body's naturally warming up. You feel me? Your body warms up so you get more in touch with your energetic self. I'll get more into sun gazing later in a later video. The sun also fucking satiates hunger. <laughs> like, there, you can look this up. There was a researcher in the Himalayas and he, he talked to a man. That man has lived seven, seven years? Some some outrageous number of years off of straight sunlight. No food, no water, just sunlight. Because when you really get into your energetic self, when you get in touch with that self, you're going to realize, oh, shit. Nigga, the sun is beautiful. <laughs> the sun is so fucking... I'll get more into sun gazing in a later video. I really want to get into that. That's one of my favorite subjects. But yeah, if you want to raise your vibration, start sun gazing. So when you do that, you're going to start to become more happy. You're going to be more peaceful in your life. You feel me? Uh, yeah, that's really all I got for y'all right now. I'm not going to lie. I'm really tired as fuck. I just had a school and shit. That shit drained me. Uh, that's all I got for y'all right now. GVO Juju signing out. Like, share, subscribe, all that bullshit.